Hey, Don here. Okay, well, we're back. I went ahead and went and ate lunch because I was getting weak. I didn't need to eat. I finally realized and I messed up things up a little bit. I was fumbling around and uh, trying to. Here's that plug. Okay, now here's the plug where I took off the uh, relay for the horn. I was trying to do a jumper from, uh, I was going to try to do green. You can see which ones are where. Can't see it very good in here, but there. I can kind of tell maybe. There's a green and black and red. <coughs> so I was going to try to do a jumper from green to red, see if that would make the horn honk. <coughs> and I uh, actually don't know exactly how that uh, relay internally works. It may not work. That still might not work without that ground. I remember some relays, actually it could be the green and the black that connect together to make the relay work and it may switch on the ground, you know, well, why would power be in there? I don't know, I can't think straight, <coughs> so anyway, <coughs> <coughs> so I believe I blew a fuse, I can't see any of them that look blown, <coughs> but um, I'm going to have to start taking them out and I, I read on there with my magnifying glass the best I could and uh, some of them are identified, but I didn't really figure out what was the horn. I also can't... I don't remember what it all said, even. But also, I was in such a bad, tight spot. I just... It's hard to get in and out of this spot. But, uh... I can see it okay, but I can't reach and do anything, you know. And I can't... Well... Anyway, I thought I'd try to get the camera. I don't know that I can actually set it anywhere. I've got three of these phones, but... And one's, you know, okay, doesn't have... Not on a tripod, and the other two are on... This one's a shorter tripod, so I can move around down here a little better. But I still don't think I can set it up to where I can show what I'm doing. Don't think. What's that like? Where's the camera? There it is. So yeah, that wouldn't hinder anything. But I think my head needs to go right where the feet of the tripod is. See, that just shows the bottom half of the thing too the uh, fuse box but that is where I think I think the bottom may be where that bad fuse is the light keeps turning where it's shining in my face that just blinds me and the sun's coming right in on me here now I thought maybe it'd get better but it seems to be getting worse but these kind of fuses these old glass fuses you they're very tricky to tell when they're blown they don't always blow in the middle a lot of times they blow at the end where you can't see it uh, but sometimes you can tell if they look a little wrinkled or something, a little bent. I mean, they'll be that way anyway and still be working. But, if they're... So anyway, <laughs> anyway, you may as well take them out, usually. And, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna take these... Um, glasses are steaming up again. It must be really humid today. Because it was only 75... Well, of course it's a lot hotter than 75 now, but it was only 75 when it came out at about 7.30, 8 o'clock. But it's about 10.30 in the morning now. So... The sun is blinding me. Can't get my magnifying glass to focus to where I can read any of it. With that sun like that, especially. So... I think I will try using my... Uh, let's try one more time. I don't know if I can get in a better spot. Now I dropped it and I can't pick it up. I can't get my hand to it. Oh, finally. Okay, so... The little light on here kind of helps sometimes. It might do me more good than the drop light at the moment. Let's try. Well, then that'll make it dark where the camera can't see anything. Can't match the button and hold it at the same time, even. I guess if I move my multimeter, it might help. This is the part of work, working on cars that I've always hated, getting in these tight places. I used to would prefer to pull a motor or a transmission than to get under the dash. And this is a 76. These are new ones. I would to touch them with my life. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, the, my light is just causing a reflection. So I can't help it, I gotta turn it out. Now it doesn't seem to be coming on. It quit coming on. It does that. It wouldn't come on for a year or two, and then it just came on again one day. Now it's not working again. 
I tried to fix it a bunch of times. Can't fix it. It fixes itself when it gets in the mood. So, I cannot get it to where there's no reflection. So I guess I may have to just, I wanted to at least have an idea of which fuse I was taking out. Oh no, there I can see something. Traffic, flashers, battery, heater. Courtesy, okay, somebody said that the horn and the courtesy lights on one sh one Chevy, it wasn't a blazer, but that one just says fuse, and that's all. But courtesy lights, they said your courtesy lights and your horn was usually on the same one. So that's a starting point. That one I can't see any marks. But anyway, I'm... Direction... Some of them are worn off, so it's happening, that's old. And that one's, no, that's not dirty. There's nothing in the middle there. It's worn off. That one there. I'm pretty sure I blew it. Because uh, I had, I know I had power because my, uh, I was trying to do, the, I said that a minute ago, and I was trying to do the little jumper trick. It, uh, I accidentally touched it. Somehow it got out of my hand and touched the, uh, parking brake. I guess my camera's not on what I'm actually doing here. I just realized there might be a way to turn this leg on this thing. If I can get that down a little further. Or do something different. Where are we? There we go. If it would stay there. There. Oh. Not good, good, not good. There, that's right where I'm going to be. So, uh, I don't want the light up to where it blinds me. Okay, now, screwdriver, where'd you go? The tester and the test leads are, uh, Test leads look like they're gonna poke me for watch it. I don't know what I did with my screwdriver. I guess I'm gonna have to I'll do try to not get up and down because it's really hard. When you're old, it's all everything's hard. Screwdriver? Where the heck did you go? Now I'm getting pissed. There you are. Okay. Better show up. Alright, now. I'm going to get this out. Don't do it by the glass. You'll break it. Get down on the end and don't short that, your fuse out against anything. Sometimes this screwdriver might be too long. It's hitting everything. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get a shorter one. I think that'll work. Be back. Sometimes you got no choice. You know, I had a little, well, I had a fuse puller for one of those newer kinds of fuses. Some of them are not hard at all, and some of them are really hard. Sometimes you got no choice, but you know, I got more fuses. There we go. That's really kind of the way you get them out, but I, they break so easy these days. Yeah, that was a good way to short it out if it was a hot one. And the horn one is hot, or it was until I. Where you had it in front of there for a minute there. It's bent really uh, in half, so. The caps don't come off. So that's a good thing. Let's see. Try not to keep moving the camera around. I don't want to have to. I don't think I'll be able to show the what I'm doing, but that's actually kind of down in the 
Oh, I gotta put it on. Let's see. My, everything is blurry with. Oh, I got my magnifying glass. Let's see. Light, hold, range. I forgot what it does. Which one? You got. I, I always forget. Okay, it ain't hold or range. Select. Thing. Okay, there. Now we got a beep. <clears throat> We got a beep when there's a. You can actually kind of see that better right there. Okay. I'll do a continuity test. On. It's okay. It's not loose. So that fuse is good. If I don't lose it or break it or something. So, yeah, you can tell sometimes when they're. when they're slanted a lot, but. I don't know if I can show it on the camera or not. Not not in this position, I don't guess. But anyway, you probably already know what I'm talking about. Anyway, if you're looking at the video about an old car like this, maybe. Ow! The door is fighting me. It's trying to kill me. It's a heavy. These doors are heavy on these things. Now I got down in here to where I can't actually do anything. Biggest problem is I can't see right now trying to hold the magnifying glass up there. I want to get it in there so that I can see the fuse good to tell when it's blown. Or at least tell if it's blown real bad. Okay, so this one is not a courtesy light fuse. I think I will put that uh, relay back in there and see if uh, Where's the relay at? It's right there. And see, I gotta move. <clears throat> Plug it back in and see if, if I really blew anything or not. I think I did. But what if it's actually not even blown and I'm trying to fix something that ain't broke? Okay, so it's up here. Somewhere in this area. Get this tester out of there. Got all this out of the way. Get the long screwdriver out of the way. Where's my. Where is it? Here it is. Now here's my uh, reflect, uh, reflector, my relay. I was going to kind of wipe it off a bit. We'll take it and clean it off a bit before we put it back in there. Spray it with some continuity um, continuity maker, some um, contact cleaner. stuff though see you will see I don't think the brand really matters but electrical contact cleaner is a good thing to have around now just for grins I mean, gonna, well let's see I want to see if I got some 400 up there well, that's dirtier so I generally use these pieces here for wood so okay let's get up here Kind of in its place. There. Could have done that and then sprayed it off if I'd been thinking. They're not corroded or anything. Really, to speak of, but. I just kind of blow the dust off with the air compressor, and I think that'll be fine. Air 
pressure. Air's going down on me. Had the valve closed and everything. So loud that you think even up in the truck it'll interfere with me talking. So take that sandpaper with me. <coughs> and uh, back in here, see if I can get on a place to where. Oh, it's too far. Place to where I can show what I'm actually doing here. <sighs> It takes both hands to put this thing in, I know that much. Everything is going wacky on me again. Okay, you can only t turn this handle so far. It hangs up. I'm sitting it on the brake pedal. Way I had it a minute ago, I don't know how that was. I already lost my spot. Where is my thing at? Way up there. There. Am I in the picture? Actually, I'm too high right there. Or am I? I think I'm right in the center. Yeah. Okay, that's where I want it then. Let's just plug it up if I can. Okay, it only goes one way. It was hard to get off of there. It's got a pretty good cl uh, clasp on it. It's got it backwards. I can just barely see it. You can do it with one hand. Put it back with one hand. So, actually, I think I got it off with one hand too, but it was tough. And where I kept it was up there. Out of the way. I'll leave it hanging and I'll honk the horn. It used to click, make a little noise. Oh, okay. So I didn't kill anything, I don't think. I, mean, I don't understand is why I wasn't getting any 12 volt measurement on it. Yeah, I don't think it would do that if I had a blown a fuse or anything. Okay, good. That was just a hunch. So now I'm going to go. Actually, while I was eating lunch, I watched a couple of videos on... I didn't find anything on Blazers, but I did find a couple of videos on... I found one on the 72 El Camino. It was fairly similar. So, turn my light out. I'm going to go up there and run a jumper wire to the horns. I'm going to find the horns. I don't know where the horns are exactly. I'm just going to leave these tools in here for now until I figure out what it is I'm going to be doing. Probably need the tester and the magnifying glass. I think it's still on. I always forget to turn that off. Okay, let's go up this way.